Welcome to the behind the scenes of Bank Heist. I'm Jeff Sheets from Monkey Chow Animation Studios and Motion Capture Orlando, and this is our second motion pack in the action film series. The first was Run For Your Life, a collection of people getting away from unspecified danger as quickly as possible. Bank Heist includes all the major story beats from an armed robbery and was inspired by some of my favorite films like Heat, Inside Man, and The Town. I went a little crazy on this one and got to play filmmaker. We developed a narrative chain of events to get the story rolling. On an average day at a typical downtown bank, three armed robbers seize control of the bank and force their manager to open the vault. Grabbing as much cash as they could carry, the robbers make their escape. What happens next is up to you. Maybe they run into a security guard. Do they take him hostage or shoot it out? Fleeing with all the money, they might get into a spectacular shootout with police, or do they take on a SWAT team? What if the bank is being robbed by cybernetic aliens or defended by Roman gladiators? There are clips of everyone shooting and everyone getting shot. There's also the possibility that the robbers might just get away with it. The Bank Heist motion pack also pairs really well with the motions from Run For Your Life. These are the background characters in pink from the ActorCore library. I love ActorCore because you can have a lot of very different characters without weighing down your scene. This is our first motion pack shot here on our new stage at Motion Capture Orlando. We have 38 Vicon cameras on our optical capture volume and a rock solid crew. We put together a team of stunt people and actors. Stunt professionals Kenny Waymack and Honora Galton were also in Run For Your Life. Orlando based actor Andres Procell was featured as the branch manager and as Robber 3. And my friend Matthew Zine was called upon because he knows a lot about guns. A long time ago, Matt starred in a short film I made called NASA SEALs. There is no exit there. There will be! Lucky, make me a hole! That same NASA SEALs also became an animated demo for iClone. Gonna be more of them! How many? On uh, a very many! Kelly, emergency exit bill! On the way! After the shoot, Cashmere Knight got to work on the bank model for the demo. And Nelson used Character Creator to build out our featured cast. Then, we edited the clips in iClone. We had to tighten up weapons placement, refine prop interactions, and integrate moving set pieces. The most complicated one was actually the vault. Andres used a roll of tape to enter the combination and pulled a scaffold to open the vault door. In iClone, you have complete control. We were able to construct our CGI vault door model to match the measurements of the sets. And we used reach targets to temporarily connect the branch manager's hand to the dial. So the motions of the hand were driven by the movement of the dial. Additional animation layers compensated for the grabs and releases as the combination was entered. In the escape scene, there was an unexpected difference between the height of the CGI van model's floor and the platform that we used to shoot it. Problems like this are easily corrected through camera placement, like putting a short actor on a box to make him taller. While our character's feet are actually sinking into the ground, you'd never know it looking through the lens. There are so many ways to use these clips, and we hope you have a great experience doing so. And if you do, please post with hashtag ActorCoreBankHeist because we would love to see it. We are hard at work and super excited about our next motion pack. I can't say a lot about it, but it's gonna be a riot.